So uh, what I have today is I have a question here. So again, I, I'm in the one class kind of a portal here. And what the student is asking is, has, is asking how many yards are in a one fourth mile or how many yards in one fourth mile are in one fourth mile. So let me write that down on my little board here. So it says here, how many yards in one fourth mile? And what you're gonna do at home is, if you're tuning in for the first time, um, again, uh, what I usually do in my streams is that I, I give you about a minute or so to think about this problem yourself. And then right after, I'm going to kind of walk over the solution with you. I'm gonna scroll down and walk through the solution. And we're gonna do it together as well. And what we're doing is we're hopefully comparing my solution and their solution. And hopefully uh, those two would be correct or maybe uh, uh, the solution might be incorrect or whatnot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to improve on these solutions. Um, and that's what we're, how many yards I'm gonna write are in a one quarter, one quarter mile. So that's gonna be our question for today. That's our first question. And this kind of broad, uh, brings up this topic of like uh, pre-algebra, we're, le we're, learning, we're learning dimensional analysis um, or grade eight measurement if you're in the Ontario, if you're tuning in as an Ontario student. So basically it's asking how many yards are in a, on a, in a quarter mile. And this is specifically the imperial system, right? We have the metric system with meters and, and what not in centimeters, but this is the imperial system. So it's looking at yards and miles and foots and inches as well. So this is the imperial system. So take a minute to look at this question and afterwards we're gonna solve it together. So we'll give you a minute to do so. Um, Yet how many yards are in a, a one quarter mile is kind of the question here. How many yards are in a one quarter mile? So maybe I'll give you a little hint here. So one mile, so one mile equals, this is 1,760 yards. So using this conversion, what we can do is we can solve for we can solve for for our problem. So this is kind of our, our equation here. Actually, I won't, I won't box it. But that's kind of, we're using this to solve for our question here. So again, about 30 more seconds left to kind of like look at this problem and approach it. I'm just gonna check if I, yeah, it's 1,760 yards, cool. Again, I'm from Ontario, so it's a, lo a, little, a little bit harder for me to, uh, the imperial system is not something I'm like super familiar with. I'm more familiar with metric systems so, like meters, kilometers, centimeters, millimeters. But again, if you're tuning in from the U.S., again, you, you use the imperial system, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll use that as well. Okay. So I hope you got enough time to kind of think about this question. Again, it's asking how many yards are in a one quarter mile. So the imperial system, uh, again, this is the imperial system. So again, yards, miles, foots, inches, pounds, all that stuff is part of the imperial system. So you use that in the United States. And then what we're doing here is we're, we're looking at this question again, how many yards in a one quarter mile? Oh, this is question one. I forgot to label this question, I'm sorry. And it's saying, and I told you that one mile equals 1,760 yards. So what we can do is if I were to solve this problem, I'm not gonna look at the solution on the left, but what how I would approach this problem is how many yards in a one quarter mile. If I'm using this kind of equation to help me solve for it, what I can do is I can take this one quarter and multiply it by multiply it to both sides. So how I would do that is I would do one quarter. So what if one mile equals 1,760 yards, then I can say one fourth mile or one fourth times one mile would equal one fourth times 1,760 yards, right? And that's how I would do this problem or how how if you were in a, in, in a uh, pre-algebra um, kind of course, or gradient measurement courses is how you would do this problem here. So I, how, it's asking how many yards are in a one quarter mile. I would multiply both sides by one quarter. And what that does is I'm actually not changing the equation. Again, I'm multiplying the same thing by both sides. Remember in equations, I can, I'm allowed to do that as long as I'm keeping the, I'm doing the same operation to both sides, right? And then what that what that's gonna give us is I'm gonna have on this left side here, I'm gonna get one quarter mile, which is what we're solving for. So one quarter 
mile equals, it says one quarter times 1,760. So what I, what I can do is I, I can use a calculator and solve for that. And I can plug in one quarter times uh, 1,760, or I could use this old fashioned, I could old, use old fashioned long division, right? So I have four here. So what I can do is, um, I'll solve this, I guess. So I have uh, four times what equals uh, closest to 17 would be four. So four times four here is 16. Uh, bring down the six here. 17 minus 16 is one. Bring down the six is 16. And then it'll be another four here. I'll have to make some room here. Uh, four times four get a 16 minus zero is zero. Zero bring down zero. Four times what equals zero. Four times zero equals zero. And that's going to be our answer. For 440 yards would be our answer for this problem. So 440 yards. And again, you don't have to do the long division. If you have a calculator at home, you just plug in whatever, 1,000. Like I, like I, have, a, I, have, I have Casio FX991 FX here. I'm plugging in 1760 divided by 4, which is, again, 440. So that's, that's, a, that's correct. So I'm just going to erase this because I don't know if you uh, still do long division. So we have our answer here, right? Our answer here is one quarter mile equals 440 yards. And I'm going to highlight this in blue. And what we're going to do now is we have our solution. What we're going to do is we're going to check it with uh, uh, this student's uh, solution. It comes from Columbia University. So very, very well-known university here. So we have our answer. One quarter mile equals uh, 440 yards. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll this solution. So it says here, there they wrote, yards and miles are units of length. That's good. Um, we're, we're talking we're looking at units of length, right? How long or how far something is. Um, some common lengths, units of length from smallest to largest are these ones here, right? So we have one to six, a mixture of imperial and metric systems, which I personally don't really like. I would actually keep these, uh, keep these, keep these uh, units separate because you have a, a metric system is much easier to use than an uh, imperial system in the sense that you're only moving by factors of 10 or multiples of 10, sorry. And what they did was they actually did a conversion table. So they actually put um, one side is uh, the length, uh, units of length, and then the other side is uh, kind of numbers or conversions that you would use to go from one thing to another. So where I got one mile equals seven 1,760 yards, they put here. So one mile in this case, I can't highlight it, but one mile here equals 1,760 yards. One yard would equal three feet. One feet equals 12 inches. One inches equals 2.5 centimeters, and then so on and so forth. I... I'm personally not the biggest fan of these tables just because um, uh, it kind of gets confusing because if you move back up, again, I'm multiplying if I move down and I'm dividing if I move back up to get to a smaller number. So I I like, I I want to say I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of uh, approach to this problem just because it does rely on kind of brute memorization to memorize these numbers, memorize these tables. I, what I usually do is I kind of memorize like um, I like if I were to do unit analysis and unit conversion, I kind of memorize these problems here. I memorize oh one mile equals seven sixty yards, or I kind of just focus on like these numbers instead. The units you can kind of infer by yourself. Like so, oh one thousand seven hundred sixty yards, it has to be a mile, right? There's no way that's something that's like that far or that long could be a foot or an inch, right? So that's kind of logic. I'm using logic to kind of also memorize this as well. But in this case, they, the student choose to use a table, which okay, that's fair. Um, that it's not wrong by any chance, but it's just like I would prefer another way to use the table but that's totally fine that's probably my personal preference as well um so what they did was um they actually did the exact same thing as me so uh how to memorize the table i'm moving upwards quantity increases uh so i multiply that's good moving downwards is decrease which is awesome as well and then um so again they're using this table to solve this problem right how many yards are in one quarter mile so they use the exact same thing as me i went one mile equals seven thousand six hundred seventeen sixty yards one quarter mile equals and then you would multiply both sides by one quarter you get 440 miles in one in one fourth of a mile so this is good um i like this solution this solution is not bad um what a lot of students would also choose to how to approach this problem would be use this concept using this concept of dimensional analysis so unit we're crossing out units in order for us to uh we're basically crossing out units so how we would do that would be um if you have one mile so one mile so i would have one mile over one mile I'm going to multiply that by 1,760 yards per mile. And then I would multiply that by one-fourth. 
So that so this is this is a concept of dimensional analysis. What what I'm doing is I'm changing my units as I move uh, as I do my operation. So a lot of in, this is a this is a tactic employed a lot in physics. So what we're doing is one mile times one mile. So we're we're crossing out these uh, these units here. Or sorry, this unit doesn't exist here. It's just one mile. Uh, one mile. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, if I'm multiplying this I my miles cancel out here and I'm all, I'm left with one times one thousand seven hundred and sixty times one fourth right because I'm solving for one fourth and it would I would give me it would give me the exact same thing it would give me one seven six zero divided by four and I would still have yards over here and if you actually plug that in your calculator you get four hundred and forty yards so it's um so this is another tactic to use so if you want to use um use this uh, dimensional analysis to solve for your problem again in gradient measurement you probably would use something like uh or in pre-algebra you would probably use something like this like and in the solution that's provided for us but in the higher level mathematics you would probably use something like this because what we're doing is we're keeping track of our units as well so this uh, so the solution what i can do is i can verify the solution i'm going to say that this is a uh, good solution or great solution great solution and great step by step by step process process i would have liked i would have liked um something with dimensional analysis but it's totally fine for a great a pre-algebra a pre-algebra course so i'm gonna say great solution and great step-by-step -step process and I'll, i'm gonna say solution is correct here that's awesome we're one